Well, hello there again. Today is a review day, um, a review video, and I will be reviewing the W7 Lemon Meringe Anti Redness Eyelid Primer. So, the way I want to do this video is uh, just basically focus on this um, eye primer. I won't be doing my entire makeup on camera. Um, as you can see, I've got some makeup on already, some highlighter, bronzer, lipstick, and obviously foundation and stuff already. Um, so what I'm gonna do on camera is I'm just going to apply this sucker, see how it um, performs, uh, the application process, what I think it does, and if it changes anything, um, with the application um, itself of the eyeshadow, um, but I'll do my eyes off camera as well. Um, so then I, what I'll be looking at, apart from the application process of the eyeshadow on top of the primer, um, obviously like with any eyelid primer, I'll be looking at whether it makes um, the shadow last longer, whether it prevents any creasing, whether it just makes it look um, more popping and more consistent, better blending and all of that kind of stuff, whether it basically changes my eye game for the better. Um, now, so I've never really used eye primers. If I um, saw that I needed some coverage on my eyelids, um, I would just use um, a thin concealer like this and then set it either with translucent powder um, that I use for the rest of my face or set it with a light base uh, eyeshadow color. So I'm not obviously going to do that today, I'm just going to do this guy and yeah, without any further ado, my name is Jacob and you're watching my beauty channel. Alright, so um, just uh, some information about this product. This is um, Dolly 7 it's a cosmetics company, it's a British one from the UK. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's it's carried in um, Superdrug as well and Boots. It's just, it's quite a well-known brand in the UK, a uh, well-known budget uh, kind of drugstore brand. And they do quite a few, um, they do a wide selection of makeup. And for, uh, this is the first thing I've ever owned by them. But uh, when I read up on the company online, um, a lot of people seem to be uh, happy with like this company. Um, that they do a lot of products uh, that are very good and very very cheap. There's like a lot of questions being asked you know how good can this be for this kind of price and by the way yes my hair is wet it is morning and I just showered and I'm just doing this so um, don't judge me. All right so the eyelid primer itself it is supposed to be anti-redness and like I said and I don't have that much redness on my eyes but they are um, hooded so I have some uh, you know especially when I'm looking like this I have some darkness there and I do sometimes have redness there and under my eye and I don't think I'll be applying this under my eye but I think a yellow is a good color for my eyelids anyway this has two grams of product uh, 0.07 ounces um, I think it cost me something like 590. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. There isn't uh, like any directions on their website with how to use this. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go in. I'm just gonna use my finger. Um, so you can kind of see I already um, the splotch there is me using it yesterday. I didn't um, actually put any makeup on top of it. I just wanted to see how it feels, and it is extremely creamy. You know, sometimes with creams, you have to like warm it up with your finger first before anything is coming on to your finger or um, any of your application tools. This is super creamy from um, the start. Just a couple swirls and my finger is totally covered. So let me grab a mirror and put this on my eyelid. Okay, that was, you know, obviously really easy um, because the primer is very, very creamy, so there is no problem with that. A lot of product um, comes off, and I, th I feel like um, very little of it comes along, um, goes a long way. I'm just gonna use a damp beauty blender and pat this in. So another thing to look out for um, with the primer, for myself anyway, is whether it prevents any extreme creasing. I do have hooded eyelids, like I said before, and in all of my other videos. Um, so if this does some wonders for, um, you know, that, then that 
that will be another good thing. Okay, so now I have a problem whether um, whether to apply my usual makeup, which uh, eye makeup, which doesn't do so bad, and you know I don't know if that will be a great test of uh, how this performs. Or whether I should apply, and I'm thinking of this next ultimate palette because these are uh, crazy vibrant colors and they don't perform so well. So I don't know whether to like throw it in the deep end or just kind of do my everyday thing. I think I'll do my everyday thing and use the Morphe palette and maybe some, maybe one or two vibrant colors from this to lighten everything up. Um, but like I said, I won't be doing this on camera because that's, it, there isn't really all that much point. I'll probably speed it up and like put some music over anyway. And if you wanna see me put makeup on with music in the background, you can see any of my other videos because I do that in all of them. Uh, so I'll just do this off camera and I'll come back in two seconds. All right, so I'm back and I just have a few things to say. Um, on my eyes, uh, like I said, I'm wearing Morphe um, with some glitter from this UBUB company thing on my eyelid. Um, I did go for like bright kind of light chocolatey orangey colors, uh, a little bit of red in the under eye area. And the only thing that I used from NYX is the yellow shade there and I used that just around the perimeter of uh, my transition shade. Um, I've kind of been into this like brightening up a look, making it more summery, even though it's just become fall. Um, but anyway, I've been into like doing that with like brighter colors from this NYX palette. Um, so that's what I did. The initial application um, onto this, you know, eyelid primer, um, I think it has to be set. It was a little bit dewy, the first kind of uh, transition shade that I was putting on. Uh, thank God that it was really light, so that kind of helped it set. Um, the second eyeshadow went on fine and everything else from there went basically just like any other time that I've been applying the Morphe and the NYX uh, eyeshadows. So application-wise, this didn't do anything um, special extra for me. So we're gonna see if it's long wearing, if it prevents creasing, if, um, if it prevents uh, colors from kind of meshing together. That's one of the problems that I have. You know, we can you can totally see like a gradient here of about two or three colors and very often they just kind of mesh into one because, you know, I get sweaty and oily and stuff and they just kind of um, mix together. So we'll see if it does any of these things. I might take you around with me. Um, maybe I could film once or twice while I'm out because I'll be out for most of the day and then I'll film the outro in here again with my final thoughts and we'll see how everything goes from there. All right, hold tight and I will see you in a sec. I am walking home now, um, I'm nearly home actually, and the makeup is actually holding pretty good. Um, obviously the eye makeup I'm looking at mainly, and I feel like, obviously I, I can't really look properly in the mirror and kind of compare how everything is looking, and with my hooded eyes as well. But as I'm raising my brows, I feel like I can see that gradient of colour like still kind of there as opposed to not when you know I, I wouldn't wear this eye primer at all like I said in the first part of the video so I think I can actually see like actual distinct colors um, I think the worst part of um, my eye makeup right now is the under eye area which obviously it was where I didn't apply any of the eye primer but that's not looking so popping anymore um, I did put like three different colors there in the morning and now it's not really like showing up at all. It's just kind of like undescript orange. It has been about five hours, I think. So this is where I'm at right now. All right, I'll see you when I'm at home. Okay, so we are back. So it's five o'clock right now. I think it's been about five and a half, six hours, um, maybe just over six hours. Um, of wear time of all of this. Um, I haven't changed anything apart from the lipstick. The lipstick I used in the morning was um, just this uh, pinky nude from e.l.f. It's actually called Natural, but it's just kind of pink. But that, I mean, it's just the cream lipstick. It came off right away as soon as I ate anything. Um, so I just put right now uh, the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip 
uh, and the shade Mannequin. So that's what's on my lips right now, but anything else on the face, I didn't powder it, I didn't touch anything up with concealer or foundation or like anything at all. I didn't blot off any oil um, and I was sweating earlier because even though it's like autumn, fall, um, whatever you want to call it, it's quite warm here where I live right now. So um, like I left with a jacket on, um, not this poncho. This poncho is fabulous, but just don't wear it out all that much. It kind of floats around like a cape. Um, so I had a jacket on and that was like too warm. So I was quite sweaty and I did nothing. You can still see the highlight and stuff. So everything is as was apart from the lips. All right, um, I'm gonna zoom this in. So here's the uh, an uncomfortable close-up uh, for myself. I'm just gonna grab a mirror and just a magnifying mirror to see how W7 Lemon Meringe Anti-Redness Eyelid Primer has performed. So like I said again at the start of the video, this doesn't say to like it, on the website, the, the product description doesn't give any promises at all. It doesn't say what this is supposed to do. Um, so I mean, I just expected from this whatever um, any other eyelid primer concealer uh, would do. Looking at this right off the bat, I think my eyeshadow is good. Like it did stay put in place, nothing smeared around or smudged um, really too much. Um, I just realized that um, I don't have any highlighter or like anything in the inner corner or under the brow. I was nearly late for my train this morning, so I didn't even think to do that. Uh, but I think everything is intact as much as I could expect it to be. Um, however, I don't think it's better today with this primer than it was yesterday without it. I still think the colors kind of mesh together. Uh, like I was saying, kind of walking down the street, I was saying that I, I can kind of see the gradient. The only gradient that I can see is, you know, this yellow here that I put on my brow bone, really, like on this like socket bone here. Um, that wasn't really where I put the primer, like I didn't put the primer all the way up there. Um, where I did put the primer, you know, uh, on the lid and around it, um, the three brown transition colors, so two, two transition colors in light brown and then one darker one for the inner corner. Unfortunately, that kind of became one brown. That's just what it is. The under eye area is actually better than I um, thought. It did, again, mesh into just one. Actually, as I'm looking at this, my wrinkles under the eyes are insane. They're so bad, I don't know how to fix it. It's totally the the tart um, the tart shape tape. I mean, this is so gooey and so sticky. And I do set it with um, the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'll put the the link to the video down below uh, because I did like a combo kind of all day long. I think that was ten hours of wear time of like a review of just the concealer. Anyway, this is this is not talking about tart shape tape right now. Um, I think. You have had a good look um, at my eyes, so I'm gonna zoom this out. Okay, so I think perhaps it's time to give you guys my final thoughts. The W7 Lemon Meringe um, Anti-Redness Eyelid Primer for five, six pounds. It's a British firm, drugstore kind of uh, quality. If you really want an eye primer, I would consider buying this. I think this is um, fine. But if you have, you know, high expectations for an eye primer, um, if you're definitely looking for, if perhaps your eyes are really hooted or if you sweat a lot, if your, you know, eye area gets really, really oily, I don't think this is gonna like do the job for you. I wouldn't recommend it for like a high expectation um, eyelid primer kind of thing. As I'm looking at my eyes right now, I can also see some creasing here, um, like in the the light kind of sparkly eyeshadow from like where my hood is, where my skin creases. So I don't think this did really anything. I'm not outraged because this is uh, again very cheap, but. If you have high expectations for an eye primer, I would either shop around or spend a little bit more money because this is clearly not 
um, going to do the job for you. If you have very discolored um, eyelids with um, kind of darkness or redness on the eyelids themselves, or I think any kind of discoloration, I think this would be good because it's so creamy and so um, opaque. So this didn't uh, make my makeup worse, it just didn't make it better. But if you would need an eye primer for some, um, for like a really basic job to literally just cover the eyes, and you perhaps want something better than your concealer or you don't want to use the concealer that you have it's not you know it's too sheer it's not opaque enough i think this is really good and just as a final thing you know i will i'm gonna just do this again this is just literally one touch two swirls and it's extremely extremely opaque you know if you're working this into your lid you know this is going to cover all of that redness, all of that discoloration, all of that kind of um, droopiness or dark undertones uh, on your eyelids. Um, all right, with uh, dirty hands and nothing more to add, without further ado, I'm gonna end this video here. I would uh, like to thank all of you for watching and supporting me and I would like to ask again, if you're a new viewer, new to this channel, um, I would like to welcome you very much. And I would like to ask you to subscribe, share and comment and just support my channel. If you enjoy me, if you enjoy the content, if you like videos about makeup. All right, I think this is it from me for now. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.